What's up? This is Parker Jamison from Starkill, and you are watching The Age of Metal. everyone this is Miguel with the H Metal and I'm here with Park here of Starkill how you doing man good thank you how has been the tour so far for you guys um as our first you know tour of this size pretty awesome uh, first time in a lot of cities the venues have been packed a lot of them sold out so it's going really well okay I understand that, that this is the first time of you guys in the in the West Coast so you know that the last time that you guys did the tour with Chrisum stopped in Vancouver and mm -hmm. you guys have to go back so far how um, have you like the, the West Coast or like you have discovered something fascinating about this side of the country um considering that we kind of live in a van for several hours a day <laughs> get to the venue unload practice play and then pack up and leave um, I haven't really had that much of an opportunity to see um, a lot of West Coast cities um, in Hollywood I did a thing at Carvin Guitars and got to like sp spend some time around there. Um, I had some family out there too, so I don't know. It's cool. Big city, sold out shows. <laughs> they, they, they kind of run into each other after a certain point of time, so it's still cool. Awesome. I'm glad that you guys like it at least this size of the country. Um, well, the tour is quite diverse. We have Winter Sun, we have Flesh Guard Apocalypse, we have RCs, and we have you guys. Mm -hmm. um, out of people that come from one or the other band, you guys think that you guys have picked up some new fans? Uh, absolutely. I mean, we've also only had our album out for mm -hmm. maybe over three months, so a lot of people still haven't heard of us at all. And I think our compatibility with Winter Sun especially is, like, super high. Pretty much anyone who's going to see Winter Sun is turning into a Starkill fan by the end of the night, and that's really awesome to see. That's pretty cool. Well, um, so far, which has been the craziest crowd, either in the East Coast or the West Coast? Um, in the States, probably New York City was awesome. And then Toronto was also a phenomenal show. And then Hollywood is probably around there, too. All right, uh, Fires of Lies, Fires of Life has been out for since the end of April. April already. 30th in the states. Yeah. Um, and how has been the reception of the people to your proposal? Um, a lot of the reviews say that we sound European mm -hmm. and are surprised, which is a compliment. <laughs> you know, that's kind of what we're going for. And yeah, it's been overwhelmingly positive. People are digging the, you know, sound from an unexpected source, and it's cool. Awesome, great to hear. Well, a uh, couple days back, you played the, sh the Shred uh, Guitar Workshop or um, convention in, in Hollywood, the right? The Shreds and Insanity thing. Exactly, yeah, Rations yeah. Insanity. Um, how, how, that was, uh, how that worked for you guys, or how was it? Um, I'd been looking into, you know, maybe getting some new amps and stuff from Carvin, um, looking at some other guitars, and coincidentally, Century, Century Media Records, our label, hit me up, and um, they were doing a guitar exposition of sorts with some other, you know, kind of recent up-and-coming guitarists from White Wizard, Savage Messiah, and um, Death Division, mm -hmm. and, you know, we all kind of showed up there and kind of rehearsed. We played some Scorpions cover, jam stuff, <laughs> and um, just demonstrated some techniques and talked about our history in front of, you know, a crowd, and it was cool, and I got to play, like, every carbon guitar that they make, so it was fun. So it was, it was quite productive for you guys, huh? Yeah, yeah, it was good exposure and fun times. Awesome. Well, um, I know that you guys have that European melodic death metal sound, and in the in the vein of that, so far, which one has been like the best or the release that caught your attention so far this year? Releases this year. Mm -hmm. Mm, well, the new Bodom album was pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think the new Calma album was yeah. phenomenal. That's probably my favorite release. And then what else came out this year? I'm on a Marth. I'm on a Marth. Uh, um, Deceiver of the Gods. Uh -huh. Yeah, those are probably my top three, four. Yeah, so far. And Dark Tranquility's new album came out too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. So Great. those are up there. Awesome. Well, uh, in the same vein, I know that you're a big Nightwish fan. Uh, that's what I hear pretty much. Not the Nightwish Now that the question will be Floor, Taria, or Annette? Taria. Taria, 100 times down. Yeah. Why? Um, I think, again, I'm going to offend like a gazillion Nightwish people out there. It's a very split crowd. But um, I think when part of it's because she was on 
you know, the beginning three-fourths releases of the band, and her voice, I think, just perfectly synced up with Thomas's writing style, and had the gothic feel. I think when they switched to Annette, she's a great singer, but she was a little too poppy. I think Floor is filling the shoes rather well. I think she's a better fit than, than Annette was, but I do like Annette's work. But I, every time I hear um, Imaginarium or Dark Passion play, I just wish that Taria were on some of those songs. So... Tari's voice is like my favorite instrument probably in the world. <laughs> That's fair enough. Well, um, what is next for Starkill? Are there any, you guys are writing right now? You guys plan to write it after, next tour, Europe perhaps? Uh, we write all the time. Mm -hmm. We actually have all of our second album pretty much done. We have enough material for a third and a half album to be done. Wow. We just write all the time and then when we do put out an album we pick songs from you know over two years worth of Um, writing experience we're just looking to tour as much as we possibly can considering we already have the second album written we just want to get the name out there tour with some other bigger bands and do some more support so just booking shows and trying to get over to Europe is also high on the priority list well uh, do you have any last words that you want to uh, express to the fans of Starkill out there I listen to our music all the time And yeah, just check our stuff. We're going to be posting hopefully some new covers that we're thinking of recording. And just make sure to catch us on tour. It's the best way to spread the word. Awesome. Well, thank you, Parker, for taking the time to speak in here with us with the H Metal. Looking forward to see you guys for the first time. I mean, Fires of um, uh, Fires of Flight, it was is a really good release. Thank you. And uh, really looking forward to your proposal live. So well, thank you very much. Awesome. Cheers.